Today's production agriculture uh, with it brings lots of data and what to do with that data, who controls that data, who owns that data. That's our topic now. We're joined by a couple of members, a couple of staff members from the Kansas Farm Bureau. Mark Nelson, the Director of Commodities, and Ryan Flickner, who is Senior Director of Public Policy. Well, Mark, let's uh, talk about that. That is a probably a real concern of your members. Who owns, who controls this big ag data? Yeah, you know, I think in the bigger picture, you know, a lot of times we're concerned really three areas. One is just data security, because a lot of these companies uh, aren't as experienced in, in managing a lot of data, a lot of personal data from, from financial data to all, obviously our farm data. But then also we've got concerns about, you know, transparency and, and standardization of how do we use this data. The last thing we get concerned about, you know, as an organization is secondary uses of the data. And I guess related to all that is, you know, who, who owns the data. You know, I think there's no doubt that my farm data, the data, you know, 30 pounds of N, what I'm putting on, that's my data. Anything collected by me, by my equipment is my data. And most companies don't disagree. But where we start getting a little bit of uh, a concern and, and, and definitionally is, is who owns aggregated data? Once we throw data together for, say, 10,000 farms, a lot of times the companies that are doing this and working with us, they kind of consider that data. And so, you know, we've got a little bit of concerns about that because still some of that may be geotagged, and so it's still revealing some personal information about us. Uh, the other concern we have with that is on aggregated data is that, you know, you think about it. What is the value if, if I know that 80% of the U.S. corn crop is planted right when it should have been and under just fabulous conditions? You know, we may know that. These companies may know that. I'll know that on my operation. But again, someone who's aggregating it, aggregating it knows that for multiple farms across many states. They know that by the end of June. And the first USDA crop report doesn't come out until August that actually has objective yield data. So all of a sudden, you know, who has this data and what they might do with it? And again, that gets into that secondary uses it is a big concern. Well, Ryan, as we uh, look at uh, the possible legislative uh, opportunities, is this something really that even should be legislated? Well, I think that's what we're trying to, to, to determine right now. Uh, at the AFBF annual convention down in San Antonio this last January was the first opportunity and avenue that AFBF as a collection of 51 state and, and Puerto Rico organizations really took the first step in, in trying to wrap their heads around what should be regulated. We're talking with the folks from the Kansas Farm Bureau about who controls, who owns, and what to do about the big agriculture data. We'll be back with more in just a moment. This segment brought to you by Oldie Seed Farms, carrying soil-specific seed. Find them on the web at oldieseed.com. That's O-H-L-D-E seed.com. Farmers Insurance, your best protection against the unexpected. Call Agent Dan Key at 785-408-5459. Grass and grain, online or in the mail. Keeping Kansas farmers informed for over 60 years. Grassandgrain.com Blue River Traders, the finest selection of Western-style furniture for your home. BlueRiverTraders.com We are talking agriculture data with staff members from the Kansas Farm Bureau and uh, Ryan Flickner, who is Senior Director of Public Policy and Mark Nelson, Director of Commodities. Well, Ryan, let's talk about big data, not only agriculture, but personal. Uh, do those things kind of mix together? Are we talking about the same thing? I think we are. Uh, we're really struggling right now with kind of the, the older generation of farmers and ranchers kind of moving aside and letting the, the younger farmer and rancher take hold. And the young farmer and rancher group that, that we work with on a daily basis, these are some extremely technologically savvy individuals. They've grown up in the computer age. They've you know been having a, a cell phone in their hand for more or less the last decade. And that transition is really occurring to the farm. And as our private companies and our publicly traded companies start realizing the value of that data, that's what we're really struggling with to, to comprehend and, and figure out who owns the data and who should benefit and, and receive some reciprocity and some benefit of that, that monetary gain. Mark, as we focus in on agriculture data, and if uh, those numbers uh, based on uh, uh, other companies and what they can glean, if that, that gets out there, that could really have an impact on farmers' opportunity to markets and maybe what we see prices of commodities. 
Absolutely. I think this is you know, a lot of this data is, is, is market moving data and competes directly with what USDA works to do. Uh, you know, things like crop condition. But a lot of these companies are working with producers to create yield forecasts so that in season they can continue to manage that crop. Well, again, on, on the individual side, that's great. It helps me do a better job of managing my inputs, helping the environment, helping my bottom line. But again, when we aggregate that, and this company says, I own this information, these analytics, these forecasts, well then what are they going to be doing with that data? Uh, again, the first forecast of objective yield forecast from USDA is in August, but a lot of these companies are creating yield forecasts uh, as early as the first of July for these farmers. If they aggregate that, they have market moving data. What are they going to do with it? Who owns it? I think these are critical questions for agriculture. Those critical questions will be addressed at a, a conference coming up in, in Kansas City, correct, Ryan? Yes, Ken. Um, on July 17th, the Kansas City Agribusiness Council will be hosting a big data challenges and opportunities conference. And, and we have some individuals from Kansas that will be on the panel, as well as Mary Kay Thatcher from American Farm Bureau Federation will be a, a moderator on that panel as well. So which one of you will want to tackle this one? Uh, uh, how soon will we see some definitive answers on who owns, who controls, or do you think we'll be at a point where um, you know, we will have some sort of, of agreement that uh, share up to a certain level, somewhat what we do with those that are participating in USDA reports when we do our weekly crop updates? Well, I don't know how fast it's going to be going. Uh, I do know, you know, Farm Bureau, American Farm Bureau has been working pretty hard with a lot of the companies asking for and sharing you know our concerns about this working to get it but yeah you know, i'm not sure when we're going to see this done uh, the sooner the better okay thank you both we've been talking with uh, mark nelson director of commodities and ryan afflickner who is senior director of public policy with the kansas farm bureau i'm ken rogers for agview.net you're watching the kansas ag report <laughs>